A sibling spat tied to the royalties from a much-covered gospel song led to the copyright case, Brumley v. Albert E. Brumley & Sons. While working as a sharecropper in Oklahoma cotton fields in the late 1920s, Albert Brumley was humming a song about flying away from prison on angel wings. He worked out a tune and lyrics, resulting in the song, I'll Fly Away. It was an immediate hit. Brumley sold I'll Fly Away to a music company, which copyrighted it in 1932. In the 40s, Brumley purchased the company, regaining ownership of the copyright. He then started his own music publishing company, Albert E. Brumley & Sons. In 1975, Brumley and his wife Goldie sold the company to two of their six children, William and Robert, who became owners of the copyright to I'll Fly Away. Brumley died. In 1979, Goldie assigned all her rights to obtain renewals of Brumley's works to Robert and William. Robert bought out William's interest in the copyright. I'll Fly Away had been a steady performer throughout the century, covered by Johnny Cash and many other artists. After a version of I'll Fly Away by Alison Krauss and Gillian Welch appeared in the film Oh Brother Where Art Thou, the song's popularity skyrocketed. By 2008, I'll Fly Away was producing about $300,000 a year in royalty payments. The other four Brumley children, Albert Jr., Betty, Jackson, and Thomas, wanted their share of those royalties. They served a termination notice on Robert, seeking to undo the assignment of rights to him and reclaim their shares of the copyright. They recorded this notice with the U.S. Copyright Office. They then sued Robert and Brumley and Sons seeking a declaration that their notice of termination was effective. The district ruled that Goldie hadn't extinguished the siblings' termination rights when she transferred the rights to William and Robert. The jury found for the four siblings. Robert appealed to the Sixth Circuit.